I, I can't leave, so we have to watch from this. Oh my god! No, he just blew his dick off. Stop! You're ruining the meat! Are you guys ready for the masterpiece that is 616 game music? So this game is called Meat. Dude, what, what if this person is killing people and turning them into meat and then serving them, serving them at a fast food restaurant? That, that's what I'm predicting. And I have no idea. Okay. So it looks like we're working in a fast food joint. I'm getting Burger King vibes. I don't know why, because it doesn't look like a Burger King. It doesn't look like a McDonald's. Actually, Oh, this music's better than the intro music. Or, like, better than the menu music. We've been in here before. We, we played a, a horror game that took place in McDonald's. And this is the exact same uh, restaurant that they used. Same exact one. One of these days, my name's gonna show up on here, I swear to God. The restaurant is getting emptier every day. This way, we're going to go bankrupt. Okay, so this way we're going to go bankrupt. All right, we got a lot of blood. A lot of blood back in the kitchen. I don't think this is up to code. All right, now the question is, is the... I'll collect the dirty dishes from the tables. Okay, so we got to collect dirty dishes from the tables. Now, again, this is not the Ronald McDonald game we played, so we don't have to keep a, a lookout for Ronald. However, according to the main menu screen, there is someone with a gun and an ax that we might run into. But there is one thing I do have to check, and that's the shake machine, or the ice cream machine. Is it working? Of course not. All right, uh, here's the dishes. Did we do the dishes, or did I just throw them in the fucking trash? <laughs> there is a sink back there filled with water. Can you imagine the manager being like, uh, we're running out of dishes? Do you, do you know anything about that? Oh, you mean they're not? Disposable? I'm gonna put them in the sink. Yes, we are. I got a little scared when I, when I first turned the corner. I was like, what the fuck is that? So, are we open for business? Or is this like the end of the night? It seems like the end of the night we're like closing down. Oh, yeah. Footsteps. Hold on. Ah! Uh, sir, we're closed. You're gonna need to get the fuck out. Baby steps, tiny peaks. Baby steps, tiny peaks. All right, hold on. I'm gonna check the bathroom real quick. All right, can't open those doors. Is there anybody in there? What if the killer's already in the bathroom? I was gonna say no mirrors in the bathroom, but I think there are. They're just like really dark. Okay, let's see what this guy wants. Old Larry. Ah, oh, Larry, it's you. Why didn't you say something? Larry, good evening. I would like a burger with salad. Good evening. I'm sorry. We are out of meat. <gasps> what if we're the killer and we kill him? But it would make sense if we're the killer because the freezer and everything's covered in blood. I'm sorry, sir. We're all out of meat. Perhaps you'd like to maybe... Check in the back with me real quick. Maybe we can find some under that green shirt of yours. I, I mean, uh, no meat. This is a damn restaurant. I'm sorry, sir. You still want your salad? Oh, man. <laughs> Chris, it scared me, brother. What? Who the fuck is Chris? Chris, it scared me, brother. They mean Christ that scared me? Maybe he's talking to himself? Like, like, Jesus Christ, that guy scared me. I don't know. I don't know who Chris is. Yeah, th th you know what? That's what people say when they want you to leave. It's like, dude, I already cleaned the store. I put all the dishes away. All the grills are wiped down. All the ingredients are put away. Look, man, I'm out of fucking meat, all right? Yes, I do have meat stored in the freezer. Actually, I don't. But yeah, dude, we no more food. No more food because I'm not firing up the grill just to make you a one burger. 
Come back tomorrow. All right. This will go check outside for old Larry. Make sure he left. You know, in that McDonald's game, we could actually go back behind the the restaurant. It looks like we can do it in this one too. Uh, maybe. No, maybe the other way. It's so dark out here. <gasps> the fuck is that? Oh God. I thought it was somebody like hunched over like that right there. I thought that was his arm. There was like a body right there. It's, uh, it's just a piece of cardboard. False alarm. My bad. <gasps> is that my van? Or is that Big Larry's van? Uh, maybe we just go home. All right. Well, hang on. Let me just take a look over here. Oh, it's, it's the air conditioning for the freezer. All right. So it looks like we can get inside the van. Or not. Maybe maybe later on we have to get inside the van to escape. Still don't know. I, I, I'm still on the, the, the idea that we could possibly be the killer. I'm not ruling that out. But maybe we need that van to get away from the killer. If it's not us. Did we get all the dishes? All right. So I don't know what to do. I think we got all the dishes. Did I go to the back after Larry left? I don't know if I went back. Yeah, I think I did. There's nothing to do with that van. Oh, God. Where the fuck did he come from? Oh, oh, that's Chris. My bad. I didn't realize there was somebody else here. Was he here the whole time? I thought we were dead. All right, Chris, lay it on me. Brother, this way our restaurant will go bankrupt. Okay. We can't let the restaurant go bankrupt. It was our father's passion. We've run out of money. The value of meat is very high. No meat, no hamburgers, no customers. Shit. Shit. We need to find a way. We're already two months behind on our bills. I know how to save our restaurant. Oh, God. I can't wait to hear this. Tell me, brother. I'll do anything. We need meat to make our burgers. Maybe we can get free meat. And how are we going to get free meat? Simple. You kill people and bring them to me. And I prepare the burgers. You fucking crazy, bro? Kill people? Either we do this or we're going to have to close the restaurant. <laughs> If people don't start losing their lives, we're going to have to close the restaurant. What the fuck, bro? This is crazy. It's the only way, brother. I feel like there's more than one way to save the restaurant. Uh, we promised our father that we would take care of the restaurant. Shit, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Dude. That, we, it didn't take much convincing for us to join the plan here. I feel like deep down, our character has always wanted to murder people, but he had to, he had to come off as a little resistant, a little hesitant to the, to the suggestion. He didn't want to, like, look too excited right, right off the bat. Okay, I can, I can do this. We need meat for the customers. <laughs> We need customers for the meat. It's the circle of life. Okay, Chris says, okay, try to catch someone alone. You need to be quick without witnesses. Okay, no problem. I'll need the revolver and your van. Wow, dude, this is actually cool that we're the killer in this game. You can take the van, the revolver's under the seat. Take care, brother. I love you. 
Okay, leave it to me. I love you, brother. All right, we're going to get Larry. Going to get some of that Larry meat. All right, so what's interesting is that we actually haven't started killing anybody yet. Like, that's the plan now. So, why is there so much blood? Already. Uh, you know what? It, it makes sense. I See, I'm thinking from like a McDonald's perspective where the meat came frozen in boxes and they were already stacked like frozen patties. Like, there was no, like, meat. But now that I'm thinking about it, with these meat hooks, like, they're getting this shit raw, and it's it's just dripping all over the floor. Get the revolver and shoot Chris. Yeah, if we kill Chris, we'd be able to stay open for a little bit and then maybe come up with a better plan. But at least that would give us meat for, like, a few days. As long as there's no crazy lunch rush, then I'm fucked. Get in the van, drive away, don't look back. I hear Tahiti is nice this time of year, ditch. Okay, so... Let's go head out to the serial killer van. There's a gun on the seat. We have to make sure there's no witnesses, so that should be fun. Trying to avoid detection, because you guys know how much I love stealth. Alright. Now we can drive the van. Alright. Let's go. Let's go kill some people. Go get some meat. Okay, so we're out of the out of the van. You guys see anything? I can't see shit. I see these fireflies. Dude, if they don't give me a flashlight, I'm not gonna be able to kill anybody out here. Are we in a trailer park? Yeah, I guess. Well, I don't know about a trailer park, but this is definitely a trailer. Alright, so before we go. See, here's what I'm frustrated about, is that it says to avoid detection, make sure there's no witnesses. Like, what if there's someone standing, like, right there and I can't see him? Like, I, I need to see what's going on here. I've never killed anybody before. I gotta see what I'm doing. And then as I get better at it, then we can turn off the lights and do it in the dark, but... Ah! Ah, kill him! Kill him! I forgot the revolver! I forgot to grab the gun! No! I'm right behind him. Wait, wait, the van's right here. <laughs> Dude, the game threw me a bone. I, I thought he was gonna keep running into the night. But the, he like stopped, he was running in place. Like, I guess no matter what, he can't go any further than this. And then I blew his fucking head off. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, just because I need to see what's going on. Like, not just for you guys, but also for me. I'm just gonna turn up the brightness through my NVIDIA control panel. So this is for you guys. So now what? Oh, we just pick him up, okay. I almost shot him again by accident. All right, dude, we got plenty of meat, man. Look out, McDonald's. You got some competition. Human meat versus kangaroo meat. Let the customers decide. Who has the best meat? I can't wait to see what Chris says. Ah, oh, yes. That would be perfect. <laughs> He's just the right size. Oh. We probably have to hang him up in the freezer on the meat hooks. That's what the meat hooks are for. To hang the bodies. You guys want to drink? Dude, all this murdering makes me thirsty. <laughs> all this killing has me parched. I, I love how the body's like flopping around in my arms. Chris! Hey, Chris, I got one! He's like, what the fuck did you do? I was fucking kidding! I didn't think you were actually going to kill somebody. No, this guy's definitely a, a fucking psycho. Hmm, very well done. Very well done. Alright, and we'll just go ahead and uh, put you on the hook there. <laughs> I did that. I did that. See? All these horror games we play, we're constantly running from the killer. It's kind of nice to, you know, sometimes they put you in the shoes of the killer. 
Yeah, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> Greg, Chris, I was on acid when I said that. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. You're supposed to be the voice of reason. I'm going to have to turn you into the cops. Yeah, so are we going to kill one, two, three, four, and then five, including that guy? Dude, that guy scared the shit out of me, though. Like, I'm so used to not being the killer that when the guy ran out of the trailer freaking out, I thought he was getting ready to kill me. And that's when I remembered I didn't grab the gun. Dude, what a disaster. First time. Yeah. Yeah, first time. Oh, shit. We got to talk to Chris. We need our next assignment. You did it, brother. I thought you wouldn't have the courage. That was insane, bro. Done. I did what you asked me. Together, we will save this restaurant. Take a knife. Take some meat so I can make the burgers. Oh, okay. I can do that. Wait, what the fuck is Chris doing? Why are we doing all the dirty work? Fuck you, Chris. I can't stab Chris. I'll be right out, Chris. Chris is like, I don't like the sight of blood, so make sure you shut the door behind you. Remove the skin. Check. Okay. Skin has been removed. <laughs> I guess that's the bucket of skin. Oh, cut a steak. Get some prime rib. Did we just... Where did I cut that off of? I think it's thigh. All right. Here you go, Chris. Do I just hand it to him? Here, here's your steak. One month later, business is booming, but crime is through the roof. Okay, one month later, how many bodies do you think are hanging in there? Like, do you think we've been on a killing spree this whole time? Chris is, oh, Chris is still cooking meat. Oh, we got some burgers on the grill. These ones are ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty fucking good. Is anybody else getting hungry? Dude, I, I hate playing these food games because I always get hungry. Oh man, I could definitely eat one of those. All right, let's see if there's any bodies in the freezer. Oh, oh shit! Do you think that's the same guy from the trailer? He, we've made him last this long? He's, there's nothing left but this little clump of, well, meat. Oh my God. Meat's running low. You're gonna have to get some more. Oh, dude, are we gonna serve her? Can we watch her actually eat the meat? Oh, I gotta go take her order. Hang on. Ah, Samantha, hello. Oh, what, what beautiful blush you have on. Hello, I want a burger, please. Uh, hello, uh, you can sit down. I'll take it to you right away. <laughs> One burger coming up. Oh, dude, I'm going to stand there and watch her eat it. Hey, let me know what you think. Go on. Enjoy. Stop looking at me, please. You're making me feel guilty. Okay, fine. It's made from it's made from people. God, stop grilling me. I don't think she's going to eat it. Okay. We get a close up. We're table side. <laughs> yes. Thanks for the reminder that it's made from a person. How's your burger? I love how there's cheese on it, too. <laughs> we're going to have to kill Chris. I feel like we're going to have to kill Chris at some point. Another satisfied customer. I'll collect the dirty plate. And the evidence. Oh my god, it's so tender. What's your secret? Alright, Chris, who are we killing now? Oh, got another customer. 
What's up, Stan? Good evening. I heard that here they serve the best burger in the entire region. Good evening, sir. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> I'd like a burger with extra salad, please. Let's go. I'm gonna have to charge you extra for that. Uh, you can sit down. I'll bring your burger in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why are you laughing back there? Oh, oh, nothing. Just really enjoying my job. This, this place is dead. There you go, Stan. Why don't you go ahead and take a bite? I'll talk to my brother. Our meat supply is running out. Oh, God. We got to restock the meat. All right, Chris. The restaurant is doing very well, brother. Our father would be proud. Yes, but our meat is already running out. You need to bring more meat, bro. That customer is alone. It's the perfect target. Damn, brother, you're a lunatic. We are both, bro. Oh, what? This is your idea. I just, I'm only doing this because you're my brother through thick and thin. You're the fucking psycho. Don't, don't bring this wee shit in here. Now go and kill. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Let's kill this fucking psycho once and for all. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Plot armor. That's some real, real thick. Real thick and juicy plot armor. Hey! Hey, get back here! I need your meat! I'm gonna shoot him in the kneecap. Where you going, huh? Where you going, Stan the man? Or maybe I should say... Stand the ham burger. You know, maybe I shouldn't have shot him in the kneecap. I, I hope it didn't damage any leg meat. All right, so let's take this back to Chris. Shut the door before the cops walk in. Just another day on the job. Alright. Let me grab the knife. What's that? I thought you said something. It has a lot of blood to clean up. Alright, let me just cut a steak off you. Thanks for this, brother. You are saving our restaurant. You don't need to thank me. I do this for our father. Our father would be proud of you, brother. He would be proud of us both. He would be proud of both of us, bro. I'm going to prepare some hamburgers. Stay at the reception in case any customers arrive. In case any meat gets delivered. <laughs> Honestly, that's your thumbnail right there. I'm betting Chris isn't real. Yeah, th yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. That maybe like Chris isn't even like. He's just in our head. We're a fucking psycho. And it's like a Tyler Durden situation from Fight Club where we're like one and the same person. All right. Oh, oh, shit. Fuck. The fucking cops are here. Good evening. I need to speak to Chris Burns. Yeah, he's my brother. Uh, what do you want with him? A man disappeared a month ago. A witness saw his brother's van parked near his house. My brother didn't do anything. I'm always here with him. 
Uh, don't worry, I just need to ask him a few questions. Uh, no problem, he's in the kitchen. I'll let him know. <laughs> don't come back. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Oh, here we go. Uh, I got some bad news. Shit, man. What does this cop want? He wants to talk to you, brother. Shit. We're going to be arrested. Dude, he, he doesn't know anything. Play it fucking cool. Relax, brother. We won't be arrested. What the fuck, bro? A witness saw your van at the crime scene. He's going to he's gonna say, whose fault is that? Relax, bro. I'll talk to him. I'll sort it out. Okay, okay. Hey, you going to go sort that out now? Okay, good. I'm a little fucking paranoid. Oh! He's going to kill the cop! I, I can't leave, so we have to watch from this. Oh my god! No, he just blew his dick off. Stop! You're ruining the meat! What the fuck, man? Oh, now we're, now we're killing cops? Quick, bro. Bring his body. Wait, you couldn't grab it? What the fuck, man? Yes. Yes, big brother. Whatever you need. Uh, I should probably get a bucket in my... Oh, my God. That cleaned up so quick. <laughs> Never mind. I never thought I would have the courage to kill someone. He told me he would have to take me to prison. Everything is fine, brother, but now what? What will we do? Everything will be fine. We have enough meat for two months. He was a damn cop. They're going to find out what we did. Relax, brother. I'm going to get rid of the cars. Everything will be fine. Okay, brother, I trust you. You also might want to change your shirt. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to skin the cop? I guess not. One week later. Yep. Yeah, endless supply of meat if the cops keep coming. All right. So one week later, Chris... Where did you go, bro? Oh, dude, maybe Chris isn't real. Oh, dude, it stinks in here. Dude, look at the, like, the fucking meat sacks of, like, their skin. Oh, shit. That's not Chris, is it? We had Stan. We had the cop. Who was this one? Stan, the cop. Somehow we got a third body. Is it Chris? With this rain, I don't think we will have any more customers today. Yeah, we lost Chris. We have a mysterious third body in the freezer. Okay, we still can't open those up. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can we go outside? We can. Chris? Shit, where did you go, man? Chris isn't real. He was just the voice inside your head this entire time telling you to kill. 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 Chris? Oh, the back of the van's open. All right, so we're heading back inside. Still looking for Chris. Shut that door. Dude, what? <laughs> the power always goes out when it rains. Oh, now you have a fucking flashlight. God, we could have used that in the trailer park. You had a flashlight this entire time? Dude, what if Chris is like... 
I can't let you live. You're a witness. I can't let you talk. Which, what's our name? Did it ever say our name? Dude, I think Chris is going to try and kill us. What the fuck was that? Chris, brother? It's like I stepped on something. I don't know. The screen shook. I don't know what happened. <gasps> Where are all the bodies? What the fuck is going on? Chris? I keep waiting for these to be able to open, but I guess not. Maybe back out to the van? Maybe he loaded the bodies into the van. The door is locked. Chris must be kidding me. Well, there's not many places he can be. And I feel like we checked. What the fuck was that? I heard something back here. Sound like a tray was dropped. Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck? It was a nightmare. Oh, it was a nightmare. I'm like, dude, they're not going to start introducing zombies into this game. Like, they kind of, it's kind of out of left field based on the plot. Oh, yeah, and all those bodies that you've been killing for meat for the restaurant. Yeah, now they're zombies. By the way, they're zombies now. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, guys, it was just a meat mare. <laughs> okay. All right. So, just the dream. There's no, no such thing as meat zombies. Come on, guys. You should know better than that. I wasn't even scared. I knew it was a dream the whole time. That's why I, that's why I was able to stay calm like I was. Chris? Dude, still no Chris though. Oh god, fuck. Oh, the bodies are back. I like the cold. It soothes my soul. We're doing great, brother. Very well. What are you doing in here, bro? You're gonna freeze. It's hot, bro. I'm just cooling off a little. I need your help. Got it, bro. What do you need? There's a homeless man outside. He's been bothering our customers. I need you to put an end to him. Oh, you mean like just tell him to go? <laughs> just tell him to keep moving? No loitering? I can do this, no problem. But don't use the gun. We can't take too many risks. The police are watching us. Okay, uh, what can I use then? There's an ax inside the bathroom. You can use it. Oh, thank you for giving me your permission to use the ax. Okay, I'll do it now. Fucking weirdo. We'll grab the ax. Oh, here it is. Was it here the whole time? Nice, okay. <laughs> Oh, it actually leaves marks? That's cool. Please don't destroy the store. Alright, let's go kill ourselves a homeless man. Uh, maybe by the dumpster? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he looks so delicious. Hey, buddy. Hey, can I talk to you real quick? Hey. Hey, man, I'm not, I'm not trying to kill you. I just want, my brother just wants you to leave because you're, you're kind of scaring the customers. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill you. Psych. 
Who the fuck says psych anymore? When, when, when was the last time you heard someone say psych? I don't think I've used the word psych since I was like eight years old. We can bring it back. All right, we're bringing back psych. Oh my God. Oh. Why do we look like Dwight Schrute? Dude, look at all this meat. Hey, Chris better come to our rescue. We don't have the gun. Chris has the gun. Maybe he gets to the roof. He starts picking them off. One year later. What what happened? I, I mean, I guess they want us to think that we died, but maybe maybe Chris did save us. <gasps> Dude. All right, so we're in a padded room. You might be right. You guys might be right about the the theory about Chris not even being real. And it was all us the entire time. All right, here comes somebody. Dr. Martin, I'm a huge fan of your boots. Oh, he said good morning something. Okay. Are you ready to talk, Jerry? There we go. I think that's the first time that we saw our name. I'm confused. I know I've done terrible things. Admitting your mistake is the first step. Why did you kill those people? I did it to save my father's restaurant. I did it together with my brother. Okay? With my brother, he's going to say, Jerry, you don't have a brother. Ready? Your brother? That's impossible, Jerry. After my father's death, he was the only one who stayed by my side. Tell me where he is, please. I'm sorry about what happened to your family. It must have been a huge trauma. I regret what I did, but I couldn't disappoint my brother. He also loved the, the restaurant. Are you talking about Chris Burns? Are you sure he was with you, Jerry? Yes. He was by my side the whole time. There were just two of us. Jerry, that's impossible. You killed your brother. 10 years ago. Uh, what are you talking about, doctor? Uh, what'd they do to my brother? Your brother was in a car accident along with your father. They both died, Jerry. No, he's alive. He was with me. I know it's difficult to accept the truth. I'll give you some more time so you can think about everything. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that was definitely chat's call. But as soon as I read that, I was like, Did that. I mean, but who knew? Like, I, I honestly didn't think I, I like that theory, but I was like, I don't know if they're going to go that way. But holy shit. Yeah, you guys were right. So now what? This is it. Chris, I'm proud of you, brother. Oh, hey. Oh, Chris, you came to visit me. one of their this is one of their best ones i feel like it's it was the perfect length but i think of all the 616 games i've played i feel like this is the best one